For more than three decades, Chicken McNuggets have captured the hearts of fast food fans across the globe. In the 1950s, a food science professor at Cornell cooks the first recorded chicken nuggets in his lab. He calls them Chicken Krispies. 1961, Ray Kroc takes over McDonald's from the McDonald's brothers. It's a long story, there's a movie about it. Later that same year, the American Heart Association publishes a report linking heart disease to high fat and high cholesterol diets. Culprits with the most cholesterol were beef and pork. Understandably, Kroc is not happy with this news. Luckily for him, most people just ignore those report's findings until... 1977, the US government encourages people to consume less red meat and load up on poultry instead. Kroc and his team make several efforts to add chicken to the McDonald's menu, but all of their initial attempts totally suck. Not to mention, they'd be going head to head with a certain colonel from Kentucky who kind of nailed the fast food chicken game. 1979, Kroc starts pushing bite-sized onion nuggets as a red meat alternative. His employees are like, wait, isn't this the same guy who tried to put a pineapple sandwich on the menu? Yeah, let's not listen to this guy. So, a board member suggests they instead pursue chicken nuggets. Kroc listens, thank God. McDonald's classically trained executive chef is tasked with perfecting the McNugget recipe. Yes, McDonald's had an executive chef from France, and yes, I also wonder if he felt like he was betraying his country. The chef fine-tunes the taste of the nuggets and comes up with their four iconic shapes. The bell, the bow tie, the ball, and the boot. 1980. McDonald's test markets a prototype for McNuggets at a location in Knoxville, Tennessee. It breaks all previous sales records, so Kroc knows they're sitting on a golden egg. But a few obstacles still stand in his way. To account for the large demand, he has to build a factory dedicated solely to nugget production. Then he needs to figure out how to breed chickens with larger breasts. It it ends up taking three years to complete all of this. 1983, Chicken McNuggets finally debut at all McDonald's locations. They quickly become a global phenomenon. The hype is so real, they start making collectible toys called McNugget Buddies. Ah yes, just what every child wants to play with, brown blobs with eyes. Over the next decade, Chicken Nuggets soar to the top of every kid's favorite food list. 1998, to coincide with the release of the new movie Mulan, Mickey Mouse teams up with Mickey D's and creates a limited time condiment Szechuan sauce. People can't get enough of this stuff. We can assume endless nuggets were dipped inside. 2003, after two customers sue McDonald's for causing their own obesity, a judge calls Chicken McNuggets a quote McFrankenstein creation, but ultimately dismisses the McLawsuit. 2009, news anchorman Ernie Ernastos tells his meteorologist to keep f***ing that chicken live on the air. Do you remember that? That was so weird. 2010, a photo of pink slime from an alleged McNugget factory goes viral, but it turns out to be a total hoax. Unfortunately, the damage was done. People still believe McDonald's nuggets are made with pink slime to this day. It's not true, people. 2016, McDonald's removes artificial preservatives from the McNugget recipe. Finally, some good PR for the Golden Arches. 2017, Szechuan sauce is back on the national radar. A certain very popular animated series references the old promotional sauce and reminds people how good it is. Fans immediately take to social media and beg McDonald's to bring it back. 2018, McDonald's gives in and makes Szechuan sauce again. Yay, but it's only available for one day only. Boo! Things go awry when lines of people and scalpers show up and there's not enough to go around. Weirdly, this is only the second biggest sauce scandal from McDonald's. Right by that time, they posted their special sauce recipe online and people were like, oh wait, that's just Thousand Island dressing, right? McDonald's might not have been the first to cook them, but they single-handedly propelled chicken nuggets into the mainstream. And because of McNuggets, I personally refused to eat anything else between 1994 and 1998. It really stunted my growth, but that's fine. Started as an alternative to beef, satisfied a generation of picky eaters, including myself. Thank you, McDonald's, for mashing up chicken meat into heavenly little globs and deep frying it. Hats off to the chef, wherever you are. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you learned a little something today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment with the topic you want us to hit next, and share it with a loved one. I'm sure they would like to hear from you.